Her name is rarely spoken alongside Einstein or Newton, yet without her, the laws of physics as we know them would crumble. Symmetry, motion, time. Every fundamental law in nature follows an unseen order, but why? A century ago, one woman uncovered the answer, a theorem so powerful it rewrote the language of physics and reshaped the world of mathematics. But for all her brilliance, she was forced to teach under men's names, exiled from her home and erased from history. This is the story of a mind too brilliant to be ignored and too revolutionary to be remembered. In 1882, in a small university town in Germany, Amalie Emmy Noether was born into a world that had already decided her fate. A woman's place was in the home, not in the realm of numbers, equations and abstract thought. Her father, Max Noether, was a respected mathematician, a professor at the University of Erlangen. While young Emmy showed a natural curiosity, mathematics was never considered a future for her. In 19th century Germany, universities were an exclusive domain of men. Higher education for women was an afterthought, if considered at all. But Emmy had little interest in the traditional path expected of her. Instead of music or literature, she found herself drawn to the elegance of mathematics. When women were finally permitted to audit university courses without formally enrolling, Emmy seized the opportunity. She was one of only two women among nearly a thousand students. She wasn't allowed to speak in class, she wasn't even allowed to enroll officially. But none of that stopped her. She absorbed everything. She studied with an intensity that few could match. And in 1907, despite every obstacle placed in her way, Emmy Noether did the unthinkable. She earned a doctorate in mathematics. It should have been the beginning of a promising career. But for a woman in mathematics, even a doctorate was not enough to earn a seat at the table. Emmy Noether had proven her brilliance. But the world still wasn't ready to accept her. Despite being excluded from university faculties, Nertha's brilliance could no longer be ignored. In 1908, at the invitation of two of the most renowned mathematicians of the time, David Hilbert and Felix Klein, she began to lecture at the University of Göttingen, though she was still technically barred from holding an official position. Her work was revolutionary. She transformed the very foundations of algebra, introducing new concepts that would define the field for generations to come. But there was one problem. She was still not recognized as a professor. She had no title, no office, no pay. While she taught as a guest lecturer, her contributions were often credited to her male colleagues who signed their names to her work. But despite this injustice, Emmy Noether kept pushing forward, determined to have her ideas heard. Her lectures began to attract a small, loyal following, a group of students who recognized her genius and would become the future leaders of mathematics. Yet, despite her brilliance, society still refused to embrace her. She was not just breaking the glass ceiling of academia, she was redefining what it meant to be a mathematician. In a world where women had no place in the ivory towers, she created her own space, one theorem at a time. Men and women alike would flock to her side, eager to learn from the mind who would later be hailed as one of the greatest mathematicians of the 20th century. But the battle was far from over. She was still seen as an outsider, a woman in a man's world. It wasn't just her equations that were ahead of her time, it was her very presence in the halls of academia. Her brilliance would soon lead to Noether's most famous legacy, one of the most important theorems in the history of science. In the midst of a world grappling with war and new scientific frontiers, one question hung in the air. How could the new theory of relativity, with its sweeping changes to our understanding of space and time, fit into the established laws of physics? It was Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, a monumental work that reshaped the very fabric of the universe. But the theory posed a critical problem. How could symmetries in physics be connected to conservation laws? Enter Emmy Noether. 
While Einstein and other physicists struggled to make sense of this new universe, Noether was already working on a solution. She understood that symmetries, the simple idea that the laws of nature remain the same in different frames of reference, held the key. In 1918, Noether revealed what would become her magnum opus, Noether's theorem, a groundbreaking insight that established an unshakable link between symmetries in physics and the conservation laws of nature, energy, momentum, angular momentum, laws that govern everything from the smallest particles to the grandest galaxies. Her theorem showed that for every symmetry in nature, there is a corresponding conservation law. A symmetry in time leads to the conservation of energy. A symmetry in space leads to the conservation of momentum. These laws were the bedrock of classical physics, but Noether's insight revealed their deeper connection to the very structure of the universe. Einstein himself was awed. He called her work one of the most important contributions to the development of theoretical physics. Yet Noether's revolutionary idea would remain largely unknown outside the academic world, its full impact still years away. For Noether, the recognition would always be delayed. Despite the brilliance of her contributions, her work was not immediately embraced by the scientific community. But the seeds had been planted. Today, Noether's theorem underpins modern physics, from the standard model of particle physics to the study of black holes and the expansion of the universe. It's the key to understanding everything from the smallest particles to the deepest mysteries of space-time itself. One theorem, one woman, and a universe forever changed. While her contributions to physics would leave an indelible mark, Emmy Noether's true genius also lay in her work in pure mathematics, an area where she reshaped the very foundations of the field. In the world of mathematics, Noether was known as the architect of abstraction. She moved away from the traditional concrete methods of mathematics and developed a new, more universal approach, one that would unlock deeper, more elegant structures hidden beneath the surface of numbers and shapes. Noether's pioneering work in abstract algebra introduced revolutionary concepts that would shape the field for decades. One of her most profound contributions was the development of Noetherian rings, a concept that now lies at the heart of modern algebra and number theory. Noetherian rings provided a new way to understand algebraic structures, focusing on the behavior of idealized sets of numbers, leading to advancements in topology geometry, and even the study of polynomials. Her work opened the door to a more structured, organized world of algebra, one that would prove to be fundamental to both pure and applied mathematics. Her influence stretched far beyond the borders of algebra. Her work on group theory redefined the relationships between mathematical objects and the symmetry that governs them. Her insight into the nature of groups, sets of mathematical objects with certain properties, allowed mathematicians to more clearly understand symmetries, transformations, and the deep structure of mathematical spaces. Noether was not just a teacher or a theorist, she was a visionary. Noether's theorem on the structure of algebras would form the bedrock of modern algebraic geometry, and her approaches to ideal theory and module theory paved the way for new branches of abstract algebra. In a sense, Emmy Noether became the mother of modern abstract mathematics. Her mathematics were not just about numbers or equations, they were about seeing patterns where others saw chaos. She saw the world in a way that few ever would, a world where abstraction could unlock the deepest truths of existence. And then, in 1933, the rise of the Nazi regime in Germany would force her to leave the very institution she had transformed. In 1933, the world Emmy Noether had worked so hard to build would begin to collapse. As the Nazi regime ascended to power, all that she had fought for, her career, her legacy, her very place in academia, was threatened. For Noether, who had never held back her strong political and personal convictions, this was not just a professional blow, it was a personal one. Emmy Noether, 
born to a Jewish family, had spent her life challenging the norms of academia. But now, the very system she had helped shape was turning its back on her. In the name of racial purity, the Nazi party began expelling Jewish professors from universities. Noether, despite her groundbreaking contributions to mathematics and physics, was among those forced to leave. Her time in Germany was over. But Noether's journey was far from finished. In 1933, she was offered a position at Bryn Mawr College in Pennsylvania, a place where her ideas could flourish once more. But even as she began anew, the scars of her exile remained. The uprooting, the sudden disruption of her life's work, it had been devastating. Yet in the face of hardship, Notha thrived. She quickly became a beloved teacher and mentor to students. Notha's work in abstract algebra, group theory and algebraic geometry remained as relevant in America as it had been in Europe. Her exile from Germany might have been a loss for the country, but for the world of mathematics, it was a new beginning. Notha's impact on her students, many of whom would carry on her legacy, proved that even in the face of adversity, her ideas could not be silenced. But despite her incredible resilience, the toll of exile and the political climate weighed heavily on her. In 1935, just two years after arriving in America, Emmy Noether died of complications from surgery, a tragic and untimely end to the life of a woman who had changed the world. Her death was a quiet one, without the grandeur befitting a revolutionary mind. But her legacy, like the abstract structures she built in mathematics, would prove enduring, expanding into fields far beyond her own. Though the world may have forgotten her during her lifetime, today Emmy Noether is recognized as one of the most influential mathematicians of all time. Her work is the bedrock of modern algebra, physics and mathematics itself. Her contributions are not just the building blocks of mathematics, they are the very framework through which we understand the universe. And though her name may have been overshadowed in her time, Today, her ideas shine as brightly as the stars she once sought to understand. Emmy Noether, an architect of abstraction, a pioneer of symmetry, a mind that transcended the barriers of time, war and prejudice, and left a legacy that endures in every equation, every theory, and every discovery that shapes the world today.